I'm going to upgrade the firmware of the DJI Power 1000 power station. Uh, well, the process is not really documented anywhere, not in the, even in the user manual. So I think it would be pretty useful to make this uh, short video to show you how it's done. Uh, that will give us the ability to use this Wi-Fi Bluetooth DJI dongle to um, gain wireless access and control to check its status. All right, let's get right into it. All we need is a USB-C to USB-C cable that plugs in here to the laptop. But the most important step is to depress, let me uh, switch the camera this way, to press the AC and power button at the same time for a few seconds until the screen says load. And there's a countdown, it will automatically escape from this mode uh, after five minutes. Then you download the DJI Assistant software. It's compatible with Mac and Windows. Plug in the USB-C cable. The USB-C cable is the charging cable for my iPhone included with the iPhone. So make sure it is a, it is a data cable and it is not just a um, USB charging only. Then th this uh, DJI Power 1000 shows up. I click it. Click on this icon and should be able to, you know, find the latest software. And it looks like um, this one is the latest. I'm going to click upgrade. Computer is connected to the internet. Powered on. All right, start update. It is downloading. And on the screen here shows the percentage. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a E R A N. Maybe it is transferring the data. Yeah, 96%, 100%, 100%. Oh, it's updating right now. Progress bar is done. Well, B A B L, and this is, um, um, being done on this machine for the very first time. I haven't never done this before because I just got the uh, DJI wireless Bluetooth dongle. And uh, hopefully with the ability to wirelessly connect to my phone, never have to do this wire connection ever again. Maybe it will just do over the air upgrade. Transfer finished. Please wait for the device to upgrade successfully. I watched a few videos on YouTube and nobody actually explained this step. So connect AC. All right. I'm going to grab a U AC cord. Maybe uh, the AC power is required regardless of the charge to avoid break the device just in case. I think that is uh, like a fail-safe fail design. AC is on, then uh, it's always powered. Um, well, when it's doing the upgrade, it cannot get the power cut off, right? So I think this is when the upgrade actually happens. 2%. Yeah, this is going to take a while. From uh, According to this rate, maybe like five seconds per person, maybe 500 seconds, like uh, eight minutes maybe. Yeah, maybe it will take eight to nine minutes. Okay, upgrade completed. I removed the AC cord, USB cable, and just let's try the um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth dongle. Let's see if this works on my phone. And I downloaded the DJI app. Bluetooth pairing, add manually, uh, no device found. Let me actually quit. Start from the beginning. Pair got discovered automatically. And before that, I wasn't able to uh, really add the device to my phone before the firmware update. Okay, connect to my Wi-Fi.
connect to internet. It is already connected to Wi-Fi. All right, that was pretty smooth. I'm just gonna call it DJI Power 1000 done. Well, from here, well, I can see the charging status. Input, output, power, supply. Let's connect my laptop again. So that should give me a, a real-time output wattage. It's going to max out at 60 watts because this cable is rated uh, for 60 watts. Turn on the AC power. You hear the beep. So that's the AC. Right, off 48 watts. So this is the total wattage displayed here. Input, then let me connect um, the charging cord. Let's see the um, display on my phone. Yeah, that shows 182 watts. I'm gonna switch to fast charging. That's maxed out at 1,200 watts. There's a little bit of delay, maybe half a second to a second delay. That number doesn't really match uh, yet when it's increasing. But yeah, it's pretty close, 790 watts. I guess when uh, the input or uh, the output is being used, maybe it will not reach the maximum. I don't know, 600 watts max. Anyway, uh, this will give us the ability to do firmware over the air. So no longer have to use this USB-C cable anymore. Energy management. This also has the ability to to uh, set a discharge, let me set to 10% to be safe. Don't want it to uh, fully discharge and uh, don't want to fully, uh, you know, charge it. Let's do 88%, 87. So that will increase the battery life device screen timeout. 30 minutes for the screen. Device timeout, one hour. I actually said it's to 30 minutes so to serve uh, to conserve conserve more power when it's not in use yeah so that's the that's the app